Good evening, viewers, and welcome to a brand new series of Ask Sebastian. And for the next few weeks or so, I thought I would dip in, as it were, to the postal correspondence from you, the viewers. So, without any further ado, let's get to it. And there's been a fair few of you asking the same things. So this week, I thought we'd start with something that almost all of you seem to want to know. And that is, why do I appear to hate the Sudbury family so much? Well, firstly I suppose I really should apologise, as it would appear that I have been most unprofessional. Believe it or not, I do try to refrain from mentioning that awful family but it would appear that I have let my personal feelings creep into my broadcasts. The simple truth is that my family's history is riddled and intertwined with Sudbury shenanigans and skullduggery. I mean, did you know my family once owned a considerable amount of land here in North Compass? Not anymore though, as the Sudburys have for generations swindled and persecuted my ancestors, leaving us virtually penniless these days. Additionally, I myself was the unfortunate victim of the current Lord Sudbury's cruelties throughout my time at Hotch Academy, where I endured both ridicule and humiliation at the hands of that foul-mannered man. So perhaps that will add some clarity as to why I dislike the Sudbury family with such venom. Anyway, moving on. Another question that some of you seem to ask is how exactly I came to work with the German electronic pop band Electroniche. Well, there's a very interesting story to this one. You see, Back in the late 1970s, I found myself living in Germany of all places. This was just after I'd resigned a teaching position at Hotch Academy, after an accidental mix-up with some magic mushrooms and a senior member of the faculty. But let's not get into that, or we'll be here all night. So, back to the story at hand. I'd begun visiting a bar in Hamburg and on a few occasions had even started reciting some of my poetry. It mainly centred around the Badger Men of North Compass, and, as luck would have it, on one of these nights, Hans from Electroniche just so happened to be in the audience. Now, if I'm honest, I'd never actually heard of his band at this time. Hans simply presented himself as a musician, with an interest in the topic of my poetry. And in the course of that initial conversation, he explained that in his final year, he'd written and submitted a scientific paper on the plausibility of elves being fallen angels. They'd scorned his work, obviously, and in his disgust for the narrow-mindedness, he and some friends had turned their attention to their other passions music, and more specifically, the fledgling electronic sound. Over the weeks that followed, we spoke on numerous occasions, both socially and at the club where I was now performing on a regular basis. Mm, it seems I'd gathered quite the following. Anyway, one night, after leaving the stage, Hans approached me saying that he'd made an audio recording of that night's recital of the Song of the Badger Men, telling me that he intended to put it to music. Well, at the time I'd thought nothing of it, as I'd had to return to England rather urgently on family matters. But not six months later, I received a telegram saying that the Song of the Badger Men was a huge hit all across Europe and the rest, as they say, is history. In total, I feature on three songs on the album The Ancient Ones. The 70s, 
song of the badger men, sweet love a compass, and the horns of war. Anyway, all that reminiscing and rambling has made the time fly, as it were. So, until next week, when once again I shall dip into my postal sack, this is Sebastian Presley saying, May the blessings of Mother Compass be upon you.